Hello, everybody. So, none of the reactors and space engineers make me squeal with glee. They don't suit my personal taste. I'm going to go ahead and create my own. And that means a block mod for space engineers. And I might as well go ahead and record how I do it. Because I just realized that Keen's documentation has been getting steadily worse. Due largely to extraordinarily out of date and broken documentation and tutorials, Keen's documentation is actually worse than nothing. Um, it is actually the worst documentation I've seen this year, and my day job is collecting data API documentation. So, Keen, please step it up just a little bit. At least get rid of the stuff that's actively broken. All right, with that in mind, the key to this whole mess is the Blender toolchain. We're going to be using Blender, but we're going to be focusing mostly on this specific tool, and this is Harag on Steam's uh, toolchain from Blender into Space Engineers. It is excellent, it is updated as of yesterday, and Harag is the exact opposite of, uh, of Keen. His documentation is great. So, Harag, I hope you get hired by Keen, because uh, they need you, or really any, anyone that knows how to type. But, that said, just uh, go here, I'm gonna, the link is down below, Go here and follow his instructions. Once you have this installed, you actually probably don't need the rest of my videos, but I'm going to go ahead and do them anyway. Um, this is the secret sauce, and this is what you need. Just to walk you through it real quick, it's pretty straightforward. He gives, he says you need to blend, have Blender. Obviously you need Blender. We'll be using Blender. You can get it from here. I'm going to recommend you get it from Steam, because that way it's automatically updated. You're going to need this particular content tool from Havoc. This is not the most recent version, so don't go out and get it somewhere else. Get it from here. You're going to need the FBX importer, and you're going to need something that's already included, so don't worry about it. And you're going to need this add-on itself. Installing add-ons in Blender is quite easy. You don't even need to unzip them. You just go File, User Preferences, Add-ons, Install from File, select the file that you downloaded, and there you go. It is installed. You still need to fill out this stuff, but you should be able to figure that out well enough, I think. That's really all that you need to know how to do. After that, you just keep reading the instructions and it will magically make sense and everything will work. So you do not have to worry about... Um, I mean, I'm going to walk you through it, but honestly, you can do it just by reading this documentation. It is excellent. Uh, I, I just... Mm, this guy. I, I really hope that... I didn't actually check. If he's, got, if he's got the donation bar, I may actually go ahead and pitch in some cash because uh, this really saves you a lot of time and effort so I do recommend it highly go out and get it and if uh, if you can't wait for tomorrow to come just get started without me because it really is very straightforward we will be covering the XML side as well that's gonna be at the end